Star Citizen has a load of spaceships and vehicles in production, in concept and in various stages of being made flyable. So let's take a look at some ship updates this time for what's currently in the work and what we might see in the next few quarters in terms of flyable concept and new ships. I constantly have requests about how the Banu Merchantmen and Corsair are doing and where are they with the production of those, so we'll talk about them too. We know that some ships are planned to be coming through the rest of 2021. The Constellation Taurus is coming with 3.14, with Cloud Imperium say that they still need to do some more work to it after its release to get it to gold standard, and they're going to look more generally at like the Connie Struts in the future too, so maybe we'll get better looking cockpits. For 3.15 and Q3 this year, we've got the long-awaited Redeemer, which is we know now a focused gunship, though it was implied that in the future it would have modularity to potentially make it into a dropship if you wanted to outfit it as such, so we'll have to wait and see. Also for that patch, currently we have the Hercules A2, that's the flying bomb fortress variant of the Hercules star lifters uh, with multiple Moabs, mother of all bombs, and the patch also comes with bombing as a feature, so Boom, 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 and hopefully uh, reasons to use bombs on outposts and ground targets, maybe. Uh, both Ares, Ion, and Inferno, the flying Sai 7 gun with a ship attached, are planned for the patch too. I think they're going to really shake the game up with a powerful single-seater, I think probably support heavy fighter. If it's supporting a wing of medium or light fighters, it's going to be able to have a much better choice of target when shooting other fighters and medium-sized ships. It's probably not going to do great at a one-on-one -on -one against a light fighter unless it can get sort of like a sneaky shot in before uh, the fight. We'll have to wait and see exactly how that all plays out because obviously we do know that there are some big combat changes coming in at Alpha 3.14. Scheduled for 3.16 and the end of the year we have the Hull C. Finally! It's been a long time coming to get this large cargo hauler ready for the game. With morphing animated physics grids and intricate other animations and ship to station docking and just finishing off the ship in general and sort of all of this needing to come online and be brought together and be matured a bit before having the ship in game. Really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a staple of the universe. For the start of 2022, though, we've got the RSI Scorpius Heavy Fighter. That's basically an X-Wing that was recently on Concept Cell. That's got a pretty quick turnaround for Concept to actually become flyable and represents some of the quicker processes and pipelines that Clan Imperium now have. We also have the Hull A planned for the same 3.17 patch. This is a smaller starter-centric version of the hauler. Very small amount of cargo, but it is a dedicated cargo hauler nonetheless. So what else do we have on the cards? Well, there's a load of unannounced ships and vehicles on the roadmap. There are 5 to 10 unannounced deliverables that Cloud Imperium's vehicle content teams are currently working on that could be new ships or vehicles, new concepts, variants, or maybe even just a ship that they are working on that we know about um, that they want to surprise us because it's ready oh look it was a vehicle we were working on all along haha -ha. so why five to ten why is it such a, a weird disparity um well that's because the us and eu vehicle content teams have their work split up in a way that shows that they each have five unannounced projects uh, for their uh, sort of vehicles and ship stuff that they're working on but it's quite possible that it's the same project and they're both working on them together or some of them are projects they're working on together or doing different bits uh, of them. Some of them, it's quite possible that they're not ships and vehicles at all, but they might be systems or something else for a ship or a vehicle, or maybe just a small variant or something like that. There are various ships in production though now and during 2021 that we do know about. The Banu Merchantman is currently in production and scheduled for work until the end of March 2022. We know the ship has got a little bigger, and it's one of the most anticipated ships for game now. If we do see it in game next year, I wouldn't expect it to have its custom shop gameplay there until later, and the earliest we could possibly see it if all the stars align uh, is the Q2 2022 patch. Something that's not new, but something that's getting a lot of love is the 600i. That's getting an update and they're sort of bringing it up to gold standard. Work for that's planned to start September and run into December. Expect some tweaks and improvements to the ship, but it's unlikely to get a massive change. I think some people wanted like a medical room, for example. I think they just wanted to improve the ship, um, give it some tweaks, bring it up to standard, um, because it, was, um, it wasn't exactly where they wanted it to be when they initially released it, and lots of owners were like, ah, I want some improvements here, come on, sort of, sort of out, Sig. The 
Corsair is getting more work as well starting at the end of October and going into mid-March 2022. The Drake Explorer is a very popular ship and it's possible the Cloud Imperium are pushing it to be made flyable for Q2 next year. That is a possibility, a bit of a gut assumption, um, but it sort of makes sense, especially with all the recent talk about scanning updates and points of interest and scanning them down and launching probes and things like that. Will exploration ships have the ability to launch with these probes um, over other ships or is it going to be something that all ships get or are there going to be dedicated probe ships that launch probes to scan down points of interest? Well, we'll have to find out in the future. Uh, the Hull B is planned to get some work between November and December 2021. Uh, we can also see some smaller sets of concept work on the Hull D and E, which are planned later this year as well. So beyond these, what other ships might turn up in the next few releases or might be getting work? Well, Cloud Imperium are liking at the moment to put in surprise ships that are flyable at each patch release. So these are very commonly variants of ships and vehicles now as well. So with recent examples and offerings being like the Cyclone MT and the Rock DS, I'd expect to see some bits like this for each of the major upcoming patches, to be honest. It also aids in the general monetization of the game as well. They like to have a little bit of a ship sale with all the new ships and vehicles with each of the major patches, and it's a good time to do that because they seem to sell pretty well around those periods. I think there is a possibility that we will see the Drake Vulture flyable by the end of this year as well. Maybe. That might be drastically optimistic and reading into what's going on too much, but it looks like the first stage of salvaging that Clan Imperium want to put in-game by the end of the year is hull stripping. We know that they've been working on this with dedicated salvage tools that you can use by hand and that you can sort of uh, hull strip uh, the, the outer hull of a ship and uh, put that in a can in your sort of like um, little multi-tool or dedicated salvage tool and then actually um, use that to repair ships. Now, hull stripping is something the Vulture specializes in and the ship is currently in production and has work that's shown going on with it until the start of November. So I'm holding out a little bit of hope that I might see it by the end of the year, though that, as I said, might be vastly optimistic. I also wanted to talk about a couple of things. The Titan Suits, I hope that that's one of the unannounced projects that they're working on. We know that there's some push to get them in for Theatres of War. However, beyond that, they just sort of kind of disappeared off the radar. We know that they wanted them in for Squadron 42 and that they had work scheduled. We haven't had any updates on them for ages though and it's something I'm sort of like a little bit concerned about because well I want them in the game so much I, I'm very very excited for them but without any production confirmations and um, we don't know what they've been doing with them over the last few years at all beyond we know that they had a while ago some white box prototype tests uh, and things like that but um, beyond that we don't know. Um, so tell us, tell us, Cloud Imperium. Uh, the Retaliator Modular Worm Swapping was supposed to be complete by now as well, which is a massive step towards customization and modularity for ships, and actually might see a huge amount of ship variants spawned. Uh, but we are waiting to find out what's happening with that at the moment as well, and we need to see some uh, more work scheduled for that potentially, or it might just appear uh, in a patch this year, and then we'll see other ships like the Caterpillar and more get modularity. I do want to talk about the Pioneer and updates to base building, but these are very much going to be videos of their own. Um, I'm waiting to get some questions answered by Cloud Imperium as well, so hopefully I can put all of that stuff together. We can expect some future concept ships this year too, and we'll talk about some of the rumours for these in a bit, but uh, we pretty much know that Cloud Imperium are working on a mobile refinery ship. That's somewhere in the works, don't know exactly where. It's probably one of the unannounced ships that they're, um, they've sort of that they're working on. It was first talked about at CitizenCon 2019 and the other three ships that they've talked about during that presentation have actually been made into ships and vehicles now uh, with the most recent being the Xi'an cargo ship which went on concept sale. Cloud Imperium recently talked about how refining would work with reactors and different setups based on what you want to refine and the processes you want to do with those materials. So sounds like they're thinking about how that mobile refinery is going to work. There have been a couple of rumours and leaks over the last two quarters as well. The 400i was a leaked ship that we saw at the start of the year. However, nothing's materialised. Nothing being a keyword here, as during the April Fool's Day, or in Star Citizen Law, Triggerfish celebration, they joked about an invisible ship, the Origin 404. It's quite possible, though, that the ship they made invisible here was um, early work on the 400i, 
maybe. Expect if it's actually going to be a thing, it will be an alternative to the Constellation, but with a origin luxury feel. Even more of a long shot is rumour that there is a Anvil Longbow ship. I saw this only talked about on Star Citizen Leaks, but even on uh, SE Leaks it was pretty tenuous. Um, they said that they sort of like heard the name bounded around and that there was some lore implying that a new capital ship may be in the works from Anvil, as there is a ship named the Arrow. I think that there is a thought that the Longbow will be a carrier of sorts. That makes sense. Arrows go in longbows, right? But it might just be a ship that fires big pew pews, or maybe it's a drone carrier. Give me combat drone carrier. Woo! That's actually uh, one of the ships I'm deep, deep, deeply hoping that Cloud Imperium make. Uh, it's very likely we'll see some other concepts and entirely new unannounced ships and vehicles too, especially during CitizenCon 2021 and the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. So CitizenCon, that's 9th of October this year, digital only event. Uh, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, typically uh, towards the end of November. It's the biggest sales period for Cloud Imperium, and they like to sell big ships there as well. So if the longbow is a thing, then expect it to be sold then. Boom! That was a bit of a ship update video and what we can expect throughout 2021 and a little bit further, a little bit further into 2022. I will do a separate video on ship and vehicle features, as well as the Pioneer and updates to base building in the near future. Oh, there is something else actually. I am hoping to see the Vandal Scythe and Glaive get uh, their model updates in the Persistent Universe at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later, and also for them at the same time to update Vandal Swarm to make use of those. Um, and potentially make that more of a challenge and interesting stuff happen there. So that's more of a gut feeling than anything else though. It just sort of makes sense to me. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think we could see the Vulture later this year? Do you think we'll see an update to Vandal Swarm and those Vandal ship models this year? Uh, the Banner Merchantman for 3.18 maybe? Question mark? What could those unannounced ships be? Is the Corsair a priority for Cloud Imperium at the moment and Star Citizen? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy, buying spaceships and going on ship hub. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. Every month we have a ship giveaway and June is no different. We are giving away a Mercury Star Runner to one lucky viewer that comments on one of my videos made during June on the YouTubes. Just get involved in the comment section, ask a question or tell me what you think about the video or the subject we were discussing. Thank you so much to my channel members who have pressed the join button below my videos and my Patreons as well. Going the extra mile really, really helps the channel. Say thanks for helping the channels in. Thanks for helping the channels in. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well, and maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support. <laughs>